stuff. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, this example, again, what we're going to be looking at is trying to identify what is the greatest common factor. Now in this case, you guys can see that I have numbers as well as variables for each term, right? So again, when I'm looking at the greatest common factor, though, I'm going to want to determine, first, let's look at the numbers. What is the largest number that divides into both of them? Eight. 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 Four is not wrong. I mean, four does divide into both of them, but you always want to use the largest number, which is eight. Well, now, let's look at, I always like to do kind of the, number, or the numbers and then the variables separately. So now, let's see, all right, is there a variable that divides into both of them? And the largest variable is going to be x. So we can say 8x. So again, what I'm going to do is do 8x times, what is my quotient? 8x yes, Crystal. Quotient is your answer. Well, I haven't divided it yet. Here's my GCF. If I divide it by 8x, 8x squared divided by 8x is? 32x divided by 8x is? Yeah, we'll be doing that not right now, but we will be getting into something like that. Um, and the only thing I want you to understand again, does this work? If I multiply these two, I get 8x squared plus 32x, which was our original problem. All right, all we're doing right now is just understanding how to rewrite an expression as a product, as a multiplication problem. All right, so 